Hello YouTube creators and subscribers, I just wanted to thank you all for tuning into my video. Today we're going to be going through the Mesoproterozoic era. So, let's begin. The Mesoproterozoic era occurred from 1600 to 1000 million years ago. This was the first period of Earth's history of which a definitive geological record survives. The continental masses of the Mesoproterozoic era are the same as the ones that exist today on Earth. You can see an example of the current continental masses that exist today in this photograph. Major events and characteristics of the Mesoproterozoic era. The Columbia supercontinent breaks up. You can view this continent on to the right here. The formation of Rodinia takes place in this era as well. And Rodinia pictured here. Major events and characteristics of the Mesoproterozoic era. The evolution of sexual reproduction starts and increased complexity of life begins. Development of communal living among organisms starts and multicellular life forms start to emerge in this era. And you can see the sexual reproductive systems and how it affects humans and plants. And there is this nice flow chart that explains the process. Further development of continental plates and plate tectonics emerge. And here are the current plate tectonics of modern day Earth. Labeled in different areas with color and the black lines are the plate tectonics. The Mesoproterozoic era also saw the first large scale mountain building episode which consists of the Grinville orogeny and that's pictured here in orange this is the Grinville orogeny which resides in modern day North America this era was the high point of the stromatolites before they declined in the Neoproterozoic era and oxygen levels had risen to perhaps 1% of today's levels at the beginning of this era and continued to rise throughout the era. And you can see a picture of a wall of stromatolites here at the bottom of the PowerPoint. Very interesting looking rock with various wave formations. As of June 2013, it's estimated around 194 trillion cubic feet of gas is in place and 44 trillion was recovered. Around 93 billion barrels of oil in place and 4.7 billion recoverable in the lower Kalila in the middle Valkyrie formations along the Betalu Basin in Australians Northern Territory. There are three periods that reside in the Mesoproterozoic era. The first one is the Calamium period. It's characterized by the expansion of existing platform covers or by new platforms on recently cratonized basements. Supercontinent Columbia started to break up during the Calamian and it was about 1,500 million years ago. The next period is Ectasia period. Geologically the name refers to the continued expansion of platform covers during this period. Appearance of red algae emerges. You can see how close of algae here in this picture. And the last period is Stinian period. There exist polymetamorphic belts that formed over this period. 
and the formation of the Kawinawa Rift, which started to be created about 1,100 million years ago. And you could see that rift in the map here labeled in black, where it says 1.1. That is everything that took place in the Mesoproto-Brazoic era. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you have a good afternoon or evening.